Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team forecast with meteorologist TJ Springer. It was a pleasant day for baseball, a little sticky, but still a drier day and a quieter day for sure as high pressure has been taking over. Hopefully you enjoyed it because it's not going to last all that much longer. We are quiet though as we take that live glance over the Red Rose City. We can see some clouds overhead on Super Doppler, a kind of a mixture of clouds and stars, and that's what's on the table through the remainder of the overnight as high pressure tries to battle out some of the upper level energy aloft and some of that uh, increasing cloud cover also upstairs in the atmosphere ahead of our next storm system, which is still in play out to our west as we zoom things out. This is our next one that's going to be coming down the pike, moving into the Commonwealth and the warm front leading the charge. That's what's going to bring up our storm chances later on tomorrow, but we're dry tonight. We'll see partly cloudy conditions with temperatures back in the middle 60s to around 70 seasonable, but still a little sticky, but not too bad of a start for our Sunday morning. Still somewhat refreshing and pleasant to deal with. We'll have temperatures in the lower to middle 70s under a mixture of clouds and sunshine. Then tomorrow afternoon and evening is when that warm front's going to lift in from the west and eventually it will start to spark up some hit or miss showers and thunderstorms, especially closer to dinner time with highs in the middle 80s to near 90. We're now at 70 in Lewistown, still hanging on to the 70s in New York as well. At 68, a little cooler for you in Lebanon, it is 76 at both Carlisle and Chambersburg, but dew points are manageable. Lower 60s compared to around 70 like we had a yesterday, so that's more oppressive feeling air. This is not as bad to deal with. Remember, the higher that number is, the worse it feels to you and I, and that will start to increase tomorrow. The moisture content that is, and that will aid in sparking up the potential for some stronger storms. It's a marginal risk, a one out of five, which does mean that a couple of storms could include some gusty wind and some hail. So let's time out the first round with the warm front. As we head through tomorrow morning, we're just fine. This is lunchtime around 1 30. We're back in the 80s and we're starting to see the clouds moving in and we can see some of those showers and thunderstorms widely scattered in nature through dinner time lifting on to the uh, north and east and we'll keep this uh, threat around tomorrow night as well as that warm front continues to move to the north and east and the one plus is that if we keep the clouds around and the moisture around into monday that will limit monday's severe weather threat but look how widespread it is a slight risk blanketing much of the region a heightened chance of strong and severe thunderstorms with all forms possible because of the uh, gusty wind be or I should say because of the higher moisture content because of the uh, potential for tornadic activity. We have that higher wind shear in the atmosphere, so all ingredients that will support the threat of severe weather. This is 1030 in the morning and we're seeing some of those showers and thunderstorms from the overnight lingering. Those start to clear and we start to see this next round moving in by early afternoon and any of these could produce the potential for small hail, gusty wind, and if one's a little more isolated, the potential for uh, a tornado as well. So you want to stay weather aware. That's why we've made a Monday an impact day and we can see the timing really in that four to 10 o'clock time frame, but we are going to have to watch out in the peak of the afternoon when the instability is at its highest for that tornadic threat for the hail and for the heavy rain as well. So make sure you stay tuned for our latest. Our News 8 Storm Team 10 day forecast does show temperatures back in the middle 80s Tuesday. We are still expecting the potential for a few storms. Wednesday it looks to be the pick of the week, but we are expecting another round of unsettled weather uh, Thursday and Friday with chances for showers and thunderstorms, and we stay unsettled with more possible early the following week there, Jer. All right, thank you, Teach. Coming.